we were told that we recorded our first COVID-19 case. And that case came from a Chinese national that was working with a coastal company, a quarry company here called Coastal Quarry Company Limited. And since that happened, samples of some 71 persons we hear are suspected to have come in contact with the Chinese national were taken to the Noguchi Memorial Center for testing. Now, since the news came out, there's been a lot of uh, agitations here in the Anto community. We are told that some residents here have been stigmatized, and this has resulted in a lot of, if you will, again, agitations here in the community, that when they go to other communities to trade, they are singled out as coming from a COVID-19 infected community. Um, last night, the results of the 71 persons came and thankfully they all tested negative. We are here in the community to look at how the residents are responding to this, if you will, good news. So I have with me the assembly member for Anto, uh, Mr. Owe Ewe, for him to tell us how the community is receiving this news. Uh, good morning and welcome to COVID-360 on TV3. Thank you very much for your time. We'll come to the result, but since the case was reported, what was the mood here in the community? I think it has been an excited mood. Uh, we believe that we've been cleared from the hook that uh, the community... I, I, want us, I want us to deal with the, with the test results later, but mm. since the samples were faking... Um, before it was the result even came out, we want to find out the the situation here. Yeah, before the result came, you know, ever since the sample were taken and then the 71 people were quarantined, uh, we've not had some sort of uh, breath or peace, if I should say so, because it came to realization that uh, once the company exits close to the community, there's a belief that the people in the community might also be, you know, be infected with the virus. So when the 71 were quarantined, we were all in anticipation that uh, we have to wait for a result to come to see whether indeed once they come to the community market to have interaction with people or once people go there to transact some sort of business, is it possible or it is possible that somebody might have some sort of a virus. But uh, ever since the news were, you know, uh, was broken or the, uh, what do you call the test were taken away, uh, that was the mood. And since the news has been given to us, I think almost everybody is calm now. We were told that uh, the youth were so agitated that they had wanted to demonstrate because they faulted the regional minister for mentioning the name. They were thinking that at least they would just say Shama so that they will not become a focal point. It was true. Uh, you see, if you look at elsewhere across Ghana, where there has been you know, this COVID-19 issue, we don't specifically mention the particular place where you know, the virus or whoever has been infected was. But in our case, our name Community Anto was mentioned, uh, you know, attacked to uh, the quarry company that they have, you know, that Chinese national who infested the virus. So, indeed, uh, the, quite a number of the youth were, were not, in a, you know, uh, very happy. In fact, even came from the elders, the chief and elders of the community, thinking that uh, if it has happened elsewhere and the name of a community was not mentioned, how come when it comes to Anto, the name Anto should be mentioned? So that brought the, the agitation. I'll come back to you. So we also have one youth leader, and I want him to explain to us how the youth received the news. And yeah, sure, the time COVID, you know, what we call the, you know, now I had it. Why many many pa? Oh, that's the the mbebu no one ano na a youth no so many. Well, it wasn't easy. Eshe ashasirama case na be na ubi aya today until we record the first case, you know, in another issue. Uh, it's not bad because as you see here now, Madena Kakoya now, and now other communities now over the electoral area, you know, and it is room for other towns, you know, will be impaired or the MBA engaged because yeah, and you're going And according to World Health Organization, which is the pandemic or a deadly, it can kill you at any point in time. And so, ma, even for Manka Samusto, Murtana, it will be bad. I don't know today. We have a friend there. Yerba ni bi aba hanepe and our stopi. Now, okay, yeah, for car, the other other ebi a town. You look at juma. Ye ni ka ka no fe. If you come for tell me, and I had it, no, it's being called virus junction. And then other activities also couldn't have been here very slow, all because of this very pandemic diseases. And the youth now had our hanepe. Yeah, I'm finding so easy them. 
and yen so no kakra wo de ye bia as youth are all hard you know ye ah ye tun na ye support yen community ah all your anti sisia no go declare the virus free another covid 19 free tower sisia de oh yen ni ji ah vin tv3 ya wa ba be first tv station another media house media journal wo tun na we break the new cinema work international there sisia no work anti Oh yeah, COVID free town. Um, we are very happy and so excited about it. Okay, so um, let's look at how the community has received the, if you will, the good news that all the samples came out negative. Yeah, in fact, that was the anticipation of every native of this community. So when the news came to us, and uh, especially the 71 people who were quarantined, we were not surprised because everybody believed that uh, we don't have the virus. And indeed, when the news was broken to us, we took it in good heart. So there was celebration. If you could hear from uh, some of the ladies who were selling at the markets, uh, since yesterday, they were calling me to organize some sort of brass band, get some uh, powder, and then let's move around to let people know that indeed when we were tagged as a COVID-19 community or a town, for now there's absolutely nothing like that. So we received it in good heart, and we are happy about the news. Does this mean that you're going to leave your life to chance? Absolutely no. Totally no. We aren't going to do that. If you look at me now, I'm having my nose mask on. Uh, go around, cast your eye back and see people around. You see most of them moving around with their nose mask. If you look at just at this point, we have Veronica Bakat one here. Just a few meters, there's another one place there. What it means is that there's, there's been some sort of education for the people. Every inch or distance you move, make sure you wash your hand under running water. There are provisions for sanitizers, tissue papers, what have you, for you to use. If you go to the quarry company, it's a similar thing has been done. We also exercise or uh, what you call practicing what you call social distancing. Social activities like football, community engagement are no more. All because we need to ensure that we also go by the rules and regulations being laid out by World Health Organization so that we don't, if possible, somehow even have it, we don't contradict or spread the virus among ourselves. Do you know where these 71 persons are currently? At the moment I speak with you, they are where they were quarantined at the uh, Coastal Quarry Company. Uh, this morning we had an interaction with them. Uh, the DC, the regional police commander, the district police command, BNI. The entire COVID-19 district team came. We went there. We've had education with them. And their second sample for the second confirmation is being taken out. So at the moment, they are outside. I'm sure by now they should be done with that exercise. When they are done, uh, we have to disperse them for them to go home and have some sort of a, a fresh air or relief with their family, relatives, and later maybe report back to work. To work. So for now... They are the quarry side where they were quarantined, but I'm sure by close of day, they will leave the place. So any special thing you are going to do to help remove that um, Vassan town tag away from Anto? This is the first point of contact. This is what we are doing now. Once you are here, we know that we've gone international. We've gone almost everywhere. Uh, myself, the youth, the chief and community others have also uh, come together. we form formed what we call anti-COVID-19 team. We are educating people from one electoral area to another. All the seven communities within our electoral area, we are using the, uh, what we call the information service van to educate the people. We are also visiting radio stations around us to ensure that that stigma or that tag that was put on us uh, will be no more. Since the news has come that we are COVID-19 free, we also have to ensure that we go that extra mile to educate the people. So we are on education extensively, massively. We are going every nook and cranny of the electoral area to ensure that people get the news that there's nothing like virus within and through about the electoral but we have to protect ourselves. Okay, into um since you know you for no I but then only um them didn't one another one to know we should do. Well thank you. I shall see ya my yeah yeah it is part of it. The yeah they grant interviews on media platforms and because as at this very morning now DC in any health directorate Timney in Abaha when you have been come on, we told them, say, no, well, this one, one boy, to the extent, say, we all the platforms, sir, we call the local car, this COVID 19 issue has been the entrance to the Western region, no, one can count, no, we'll be on to the Ampa, a hand on, so no, yes, yeah, the, yeah, Nibi, and the local platforms, be your call, you can come ask him, yeah, no, so we use that platform, and again, too, I'll be very happy, yeah, but yeah, now you're supposed to be a CCC around the drive. Obi bi yolo oba fehe bi awo nda ampa anto ayo covid free. Okay. Nana mama mfa last word mo. Nana no ma usa bet na wale ye. Si si. Dai. Anya sum you go me ya ya nda. Da you to we ye na no. Na ye ti ye ti na ye ni me na ye yi. O san da uno eni ngwa sika sapa papa. Na wada me hen. Internet me wada me hen ni de. 
one shall drive ban. In neighbor has one family hand, one woman and friend, and one woman and driver is one. I may have stopped a car and you're off what one who does this year. No, yeah, you're free. And you have that man, you're better. You're my man for better. You're kind of here. Amen. Thank you very much. So these are some sentiments and um, comments, observations from uh, youth group, the Nana and the assemblyman here at Anto about how the community is receiving the news since they were declared COVID-19 free. But uh, we do know that samples that the person, the 71 persons who, who tested negative, their samples are taking, being taken again so that they will reassure themselves that indeed they are free of COVID-19. Eric Kiawaje, TV3 News, Takrad.